Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you what to do with kale come mid-July. It's been 100 degrees for the last week here. Um, the kale does have holes in it. It's probably got the green looper worms in there. I was on vacation. Um, missed a spraying of the BT that I used. Um, but I want to show you a solution that looks drastic. That was the red Russian kale. Over here some standard collard greens which look pretty healthy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all my kales and I'm going to remove 90% of the leaves and what that will do is one it'll remove the loop worms and the insects I'll be able to treat the leaves that remain spray down the stalks but kale is very hardy and within two weeks it will have new leaves back which I can harvest, maintain, uh, tend, spray with BT and it'll help the plant really survive through this hot uh, part of July. So here's the kale cut back hard I just basically rip the leaves off, off put them in a pile and I'll get rid of it I don't feel like uh, looking through that for viable leaves to eat. If you come around this way, oh, before we get there, this is the black kale, which I did the same thing to, is just strip the leaves down, you know, left a couple of leaves on there, and they're all in the pile. That's the kale, black kale, asparagus. I uh, even chopped out the chives, but basically cleared out the whole space, cut the asparagus back, and when you come through here, you can see the kale, that's all that's left of it. It will grow back perfectly fine. And I also expose the leeks, the other side of the tomatoes, the squash back there. Again, I even cut back, basically gave the asparagus a haircut. But the reason that you want to do this is midsummer, at least in Maryland, things get really hot, stuff sort of stops growing um, to deal with the heat, especially when you get seven days of 100 degree, degree weather like we had. Plus, I'm all kaled out at this point. So I cut it back. The leeks will grow better. The kale leaves will come back. By the time they're ready to come back, I'll be ready to eat kale again. This is my kale plant, and I just wanted to show you the damage from chewing insects. And you can see all the holes in there. Here's actually one of the culprits, that's the green cabbage looper that will eat holes. And I'm splicing together a series of videos. This is just a quick insert to show you the damage that comes from the caterpillars. You can also see the caterpillar right there on my thumb. That's a different variety than the green cabbage looper. Uh, there's another one right at my fingertip. So that's a whole different variety. I don't know what that's uh, what the name of that caterpillar is. However, it's still treated with BT. I missed a dose of BT when I was away on vacation. The loopers came in, they ate the kale. So what I did is I stripped all the kale down, um, left a couple of leaves, I'm gonna spray it. These plants will come back in full force. And I just wanted to show you again what caterpillars can do to your kale if it's not treated with BT and not maintained throughout the year. It's been about two and a half weeks since I cut my kale back drastically and I did that because I went away on vacation, missed a spraying of the uh, BT and the green loopers, the green cabbage worms came in and ate lots of holes in my kale. Also at that point I was eating kale for weeks, was tired out and one way that you can deal with damaged vegetables sometimes is to just cut them back drastically and just let them grow and they come back. And these are the kales that I cut back. This is the red Russian kale and it's come back nicely not very many holes at all in the leaves so that'll be ready to eat right now actually let me take you slowly over and you, to the other kale and you can see my tomatoes that are kind of beat up from the record heat that we've been having if you come around the back of this tomato you can see some of the stand, standard kales they were cut back because of lots of holes and you can see they're doing really well. 
So you can take your kale, strip the leaves back, really cut it back, treat the plant, and in about two and a half weeks, the plant will grow new leaves and you'll be able to harvest and eat them. And then there was one more kale, and that was a black Russian kale, which is basically a crinkled leaf. And you can see that's come back nicely too. Very little damage, plenty of leaves. I did actually lose one plant. For some reason it just rotted back instead of growing new leaves. There's a red Russian kale too that I cut back. But this kale looks great. Cutting across my peppers. There's a zucchini that I'm gonna actually cut back too and let regrow. That's my Jersey Devil tomato that has fallen over because I didn't stake it quick enough. And one more, come on over to the kale that I was showing you where the actual worms were. That's doing pretty well too. It's come, there's the white moth, right on cue. And what it's doing now, it's laying the eggs that hatch the green looper or the green cabbage worm that eat holes in your cabbages. And again, I spray BT on them and that has really taken care of the plant. That one has some damage. There might be a, a cabbage worm on there somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and check out my garden videos on YouTube. I'm approaching 60 videos. Thanks.